Okay, ready? Here we go. Mm. Hi guys, we've just arrived at a property and they said they've seen a big green snake go into their garage and they lost sight of it. Uh, we are in perfect, perfect mamba, green mamba territory, so it could be a green mamba. So we're going to go in there now. All eyes on deck, just watch where we're going please. This is a dangerous snake. Okay. Maybe we should start. Loads of places There's to loads look. of places. Under the car, maybe? Yeah, I hope it hasn't gone in the car because if it has, it's a mission to get it out. Um, just have a good look around first. Maybe you should start over there. Yeah. To get an idea. Maybe it's gone round the room. They said they only saw it for a few seconds, it disappeared. Hopefully, it, it being green, we can they spot reckon it. it. It's about a metre. There's quite a bit of stuff. Let me just put these tongs down for a minute. Let's have a little look behind here. I hope it is a green mamba. It's becoming more scarce because of the habitat has been taken away from them. But more buildings that are going up. Hotels, houses and things like that. And unfortunately, they suffer. Can't see anything down there. Stop. What? I said don't move. Going on down there, because I think don't move. I said, but you put in stuff. Or something that was down there. Quick, check down there. Something moved. Grab my but it tongs. Might be you. Stay there. Let me get the tongs. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. You sure you saw something? I think it might be you moving it and disturbing it, but something moved. The green mambas are more shy than the black mamba cousin. Not quite as potent in the venom, but they're still very, very dangerous. Have a look in there. So many places to look. Can't see anything. I don't think you see anything there, I think you. There is a cockroach. We've just legged it that way. Maybe you saw a cockroach. No, no, it's all movement, it's all. Try it in this over yeah, here. Yeah, let's go through that diving stuff there. Uh, could so really many be. places for it to live in. Anywhere. Just move that out of the way. A lot of stuff in there. I don't know if it, it, it could be just a bush snake. Right, I'm not going to empty all that out just yet. Just have a quick look everywhere. Maybe go around there, down there a little bit. High as well because it's yeah. a boreal, it can climb. It might have climbed up. Can't see anything there. There's a stuff on here, too much stuff as well. Hang on, hang on, let me look down here. Let's move this stuff out of the way. I don't want to use my fingers, but. Nothing there. Remember to keep looking above, you've got to be yeah, really no. careful. I'm looking up there. I wish they sent a picture of it so we actually knew it was a green mamba or it might just be a bush snake. Let's have a look in that corner. Should we move this box? Yeah, leave whatever out of the way and just put it on top of the fridge, freezer. It's always a little bit concerning when you're looking for a dangerous snake potentially and Oh God, I got fright then, Jesus. It's a fake snake. It's <laughs> a fake snake. I hope that's not what I'm looking for. Maybe that's what they saw. Maybe that's what they saw. Uh, that's <laughs> definitely not a green mamba. <laughs> I'll move that out of the way. There we are. So there's our fake snake. That's not what we're looking for. Let me just move some of this out of the way. What about this bag? I don't really want to use my fingers. Uh, just have a look. No. Let's just go through it. I don't think there's anything in there. No. No. Okay. So look in this corner. Maybe it's gone in. Pots and pans. Lids are on, so it's not in there. So 
Have a look in this stuff. Just move it out of the way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we have, there. yeah, there is. Oh, can you see it, yeah? Great big green marble in there, yeah. That's definitely um, a green marble. Why don't I just lift this bucket over there, it's settled in the bottom of it. Bring it up. Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fake oh. snake. Okay, there is in there. I hope it's all right. Let's have a look here. It is a green mamba. Hold it there. Maybe I don't think it was going to be one. No, it's definitely a green mamba. You all right? Yeah, it's moving. Okay. What are you doing in here? Just anything? Okay, let me take these tubes out. His head's down at the bottom at the moment. Hands. Yeah, no, it's down there. It's all right. Just move the shoe off. Just do it slowly. You might want to step back. I'll just lift these pipes. There we are. Okay. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful snake. It looks in very good condition. Let me just. Gently lift her up. She would have just bought a hook. Anyway, um, let me just get her tail. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 right yeah. there. Hold on, just let her go that way. It can be quite a crazy snake sometimes, and sometimes they can be chilled. It just depends on the snake. This one doesn't look too bad. Okay, should we just go outside? But that no, we we'll stand here. Let me just stay here. Well, there we have a beautiful green mamba that's found its way into these people's garage. Um, we only find these right on the coastline. They don't exist anywhere else. Um, and sadly for these guys, they're becoming less and less. Fewer numbers around because of habitat destruction. They're building so many hotels and apartments and uh, businesses along the coastline that these guys are unfortunately being pushed inland and unfortunately end up getting killed. Their habitat is just along the coastline. Uh, beautiful snake. This one's in excellent condition. It's a little bit plump. I would, wouldn't be surprised if this thing is actually gravid. Early stages, anyway. Um, bag her up. Yeah, we'll we bag her up. Um, you can check her there. She's not too uh, worried about us handling her. She's quite inquisitive. They can be quite skittish sometimes. This one seems quite chilled. It is a little bit cold. It's early in the day, so she's probably fingers. yeah finding out somewhere. She was probably cruising around somewhere to hide, or looking for food. Um, is a very, very dangerous snake. Potent neurotoxic venom. You don't want to get bitten by one of these things. It is a hospital job. Unfortunately, they have killed people, but most of the time, you just spend a lot of time in hospital recovery. You will need anti-venom. However, bites to humans are pretty scarce, luckily, because they spend most of the time in trees away from people. But this one has ventured into the wrong place at the wrong time. So when we've bagged this snake up, we'll take her somewhere far away away from any developments, uh, so she can secure her life and back into the wild. Right, let's bag her up. Yeah, what I'm going to have to do, if I you give me a pillowcase. Yeah, um, have you got a pillowcase? Yeah, I've got one with me. Let me just put her that way around. So bear with me a second, guys. She's quite chilled. What's your leg? It's all right, I've got her there. Let me just I'm have to unwind her from my tongs here. And then we can get her out of here. I'm just going to put her down for a second. Be careful with your leg and your yeah, feet. It's all right, she's cool for a second. <laughs> I know, I got it, don't worry. Right, here we go. Let's do this as stress-free as possible. A little bit more snake. This is just so I can get her securely behind the head, because I don't want to be bitten by it. There we go. Okay. So what we'll do now, you pass me the pillowcase. Mm -hmm. You the tail to... across the camera. You got it? Mm -hmm. If I take that. Okay, oh, sorry snake. We don't catch these that often. Um, you know, we might catch one or two a month. Sometimes we can go several months without catching one at all, even seeing one, so in comparison to some of the other snakes we catch, like black mambas, these are far less frequent. Ooh. Yes, yeah, <laughs> sorry snake, yeah. No, I've got to be super careful now. Uh, there we go. And always check, guys, you see, it's a way to tell a green mamba. It's actually got very small eyes and a big smiley mouth. Very similar head as the, its cousin, the black mamba. But obviously, black mamba being a grey, browny, blacky colour. And the inside of a black mamba's mouth is jet black. Tail. Just pop a tail there like that. OK, ready? I need my hand, yeah. I can do it all myself okay. for a second. There we go. Let's just get her into there. Sorry, Snake, you'll be on your way soon. There we go. Okay. If I just do that, mm -hmm. you're able to put some tape around. That's not the easiest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. 
That's all right. I'll hold it. Keep your arm away from there. Let me do it. Yeah, That's fine. Cool. That's fine. Just go around once. If you look, you keep that camera dead still. That'll do. I'll do it. If you look there, there's actually a fang gone through the bag. Oh, Ooh, you may, you may have seen some venom. They don't spit or spray, but you can see both fangs there sticking through, and there's a drop of venom on the end, end of that fang. That's all it takes is a little drop like that or so to put you in hospital, or even worse, put you six foot under. So you can see a bit of venom on the edge of the bag there. Um, and she did squirt a little bit, a bit of venom there. Sometimes they just release as a last attempt for their freedom, um, which she will get very shortly. However, we don't want those fangs going anywhere near our skin. So that's how easy it is to be bitten through a bag whilst I'm holding this dangerous snake. I'm going to release, release her head now, so Watch I'm going to stress her out anymore. Well. If you can still bite through the can bag. you just pull that tight? Pull it. <laughs> Thank you. Right, here we go. Oh, another squirt, another right, squirt. Another squirt over there. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's get this snake out of here. Mm -hmm. Let's go. That's good. Move that out of the way. Can put that back. Cool. Off you go. Come on, stick your leg off. 